Survivors tell us now that they're learning new details they wish had been more clearly disclosed months ago and fear the news may undermine years worth of agony following the tragedy. <laughs> This country music superfan on stage with Keith Urban is furious Michelle Leonard. Very blingy, these country girls. Michelle turning that love into her living, selling clothes and jewelry at music festivals across the country. Things that you will not find in your average store. That's how she ended up at the Route 91 Harvest Country Music Festival in Las Vegas on October 1st, 2017. This was worse than a war zone and we didn't have weapons. Michelle's store becoming a shelter as she ran for her life. The sounds that you guys hear on TV, it does not convey the complete terror. Keep your head down, go! Bullets rained down from a room at the Mandalay Bay Resort, killing 60 people, injuring hundreds more, including Michelle, who suffered serious injuries while trying to get away. Now, more than two and a half years later, Michelle, one of more than 4,000, accepting a settlement agreement with MGM, the owner of Mandalay Bay. This settlement guarantees money for the survivors who opted in, whereas a trial is no guarantee and could be a risk, even causing victims additional trauma. But she and other survivors are questioning the settlement. A lot of red flags are just keep popping up. The red flags involve Jennifer Togliotti of Nevada, one of two mediators on the settlement. Jennifer Togliotti's father, George Togliotti, was the vice president of security surveillance and safety at Mandalay Bay at the time of the shooting. Talked to all the lawyers in our group, uh, made it all out to them, everybody agreed. Yeah, we don't think that's a problem. We think she's the best. We want to go forward with her. Nevada attorney Robert Eaglet, representing about 2,000 of the 4,000 survivors, says he and the lead attorneys picked two well-respected retired judges to mediate the settlement. Lewis Meisinger of California, who has no apparent ties to MGM, and Jennifer Togliotti. She's mediated all kinds of big major cases. So there's no doubt in my mind she's considered one of the top five best mediators in the country. But some survivors now say they wish they'd known. My head literally blew up. The I team contacting more than 100 Route 91 survivors, more than 20 responding. These including survivors who were shot, trampled, and suffer PTSD, saying they didn't know about the mediator's relation to an MGM security executive. And I was in a rage and I couldn't believe what I was saying. Attorneys say they told their clients. Eaglet says he disclosed the Togliotti's relationship in writing. Nevada law doesn't require that the lawyers even disclose this to the clients. Now, I, I, my understanding is the lawyers all did in this case. More than 50 lawyers representing clients in the settlement. Each could disclose it differently. The I-team obtained two disclosure letters from firms other than Eaglet's. The first reading in part, coincidentally, Judge Togliotti's father happens to be the head of security for MGM Resorts International. And another with fewer details. We know that there have been postings on social media regarding Judge Togliotti due to her father having ties to MGM. The committee does not believe Togliotti will be biased. Still, more than a dozen other survivors tell 12 News they don't recall any disclosure. I think this should have been crystal clear of who the players were in this whole thing. 12 News requested interviews with both Jennifer and George Togliotti. In an email, George Togliotti saying, quote, I'm very proud of my daughter. She has her career and I have mine. I have had nothing to do with her career, nor she mine. I have had nothing to do with any negotiations or mediation involving her, MGM, nor the plaintiffs, nor their attorneys. Judge Togliotti, who was recently nominated by President Trump to be a federal judge, getting bipartisan support, denying interview requests, instead directing 12 News to the survivor's attorneys, writing they can, quote, speak to all of the appropriate disclosures made in this case. The survivor's attorneys saying they stand behind their decision to work with her, calling this a fair settlement, adding survivors could always opt out. Now Michelle's livelihood sits in a shed in her backyard. My life has changed completely. As she works to recover from her physical and emotional injuries from that deadly night, she says she still wants answers. There's got to be a reason 
why they did not explain, or I can say some of the attorneys did not explain. And the amount of money each survivor will get from this settlement is private. MGM's insurance company is expected to cover about $750 million. Bianca Bono, 12 News.